Squeeze Black Light. This video is just an, an extension of uh, the schools that are abandoned here in Detroit. Now, this school right here is called Cooley High. I say I lived about maybe two miles away off of Finkel. And, uh, but this brother did a video on it. I'm just showing you how we, 85% black people, and we don't know how to, how to invest in ourselves, pull our resources together and take over the neighborhoods. But now the Arabs will come over here, take over the whole neighborhood. You can't blame them. You can't get mad at them because y'all, Y'all don't, we don't have no vision, man. So y'all want to, now we know that it's some scam artists on YouTube taking y'all money. But you know what that is? This, I think it's, I, I kind of think it's mostly black women. Brothers looking for Malcolm X to come back. Or Marcus Garvey to come back. They're not going to come back. But we can come back as a group, as a unit, and pull our resources. Because that's what they were talking about. Malcolm, before he turned, Elijah, Marcus Garvey, Noble Drew, Clans 13X, the brothers in New York, the brothers in Chicago, the brothers in Atlanta, the brothers in Cali, some brothers in Texas. I better look, man, and have some, some vision, man. Detroit, a port city. An international city, because Canada is the gateway to all of Europe and Africa too. But we don't know how to come together and pull our resources. It's Detroit is a jewel, man. And we letting it rot. That's all they wanted to do was let it rot. And then they're gonna come to Caucasian, redevelop it, and you're gonna miss out on another window of opportunity. Let's see what this brother talking about. What is that noise? I did hear something. Yo, who was that? It's a big school right here. Big as a college campus. What's going on in Vantime from ManTimeDaniels.com? One of the most historic Detroit high schools, the Thomas M. Cooley High School of Detroit, named after a Supreme Court Justice in the late 1800s. But in addition to that, this school was built as a response to the growth in Detroit. So the city and the state issued an initiative to build more high schools. Thomas M. Cooley High School was one of those schools. So the initial school opened in 1928, and throughout the years it was expanded as Detroit's population exploded. Part of its history is its core at the center of a racial debate because of Detroit's population transferring into more of a black population throughout the 40s, 50s, and 60s. I think what's unique about the school is that it closed in 2010. Throughout all of the expansions and things like that, it was built to hold 3,400 people. At the time of its closing, it only had 1,100 students. So you guys already know about the recession in 2007 and 2008 and how that continuously affected Detroit schools. In 2004, it had undergone a lot of renovations. So they had put like 13 to 15 million dollars, including replacing the roof to make sure that it was up to par and 
you're really meeting the expectations of what they expected for their students. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get up in there because my curiosity continues to get the best of me. Let's get to it, man. I have never been to this school before. I know about it. I think my mom actually went here, but I've never actually been to the school before. I don't think there's going to be too much difficulty getting in. Well, we're going to cut it right there because uh, I just wanted to show you. I'm, I'm way older than this brother. I remember when, when it was all white going to this school. Then it changed to uh, all black. It's another school down the road called McKenzie High. And it's not as quite as big, but it's, it's a pretty good, good size, too. I mean, we got abandoned colleges, man. Campus. You know, some Mary Grove uh, campuses, I think. But anyway... I don't think black people want to have black power. I just think they, all that money, man, y'all gave this that brother Umar Johnson. And he did come to Detroit. Now, the next video, I'm going to look up some school buses because... You know, uh, I seen uh, about a thousand school buses in this big lot. And they, we got about three big lots like that in Detroit, full of school buses. So I'm going to go on out. And uh, next video you might see might be about these school buses. This is Black Light.